All right, so it's June the 23rd, 2021. It's time for another weekly garden update. So, we're gonna start off in this corner here where we have the tomato plants. Um, so we've got, a, they've continued to grow very impressively. So you can see these stakes that I have right here are four feet in length and I'd say a little bit less than a foot deep in the ground. So about three feet uh, above the ground. Uh, and you can already see that some of the plants are already as tall as the stakes. Uh, they've also grown you know, to the side, as we'll see in a bit. Uh, you know, here, you can see that this walkway is basically completely filled in now and blocked off. So, uh, in fact, uh, you know, they're starting to get into the way of the plants on the other side of the walkway. So I'm going to have to continue to prune the plants. Here we see that uh, there's quite a lot of uh, quite large fruits have already emerged. So and there's a couple of really big ones in here that you can see. Um, we've got the, the black varieties and then we've also got some that are kind of more standard um, tomatoes that start out green and eventually ripen to become red. So you can see for example some of these ones right here and then some more black ones here. Uh, next to that we have the green beans. So these, you know, I've had to start to support them uh, by tying them to the stakes because of the, the storms that we've had lately. And over here, uh, the ones you know, that we've already got, uh, they seem to have survived okay and hopefully uh, continue to grow. So here is an example of one of the walkways that you know, come completely blocked off by the tomato plants on the two sides. Uh, I'm going to have to continue to prune the plants to make sure that you know, they don't get too tangled up with one another. Once again, this is just because I didn't give them sufficient spacing when I put them in. So again, lesson learned for the next time that I do this. I'm going to have to definitely give them more space than I did this year. Again, this is uh, the watermelon plants that uh, my friend has been taking care of. Uh, unfortunately, one of them died. Uh, but the rest seem to be pretty healthy, so I'll let my friend continue to take care of those. Uh, over here, we have some more green beans. Uh, so these were the ones that originally were very much damaged by bug bites. Um, but you know, they, as you can see, they've really gotten past that and uh, look very healthy now. So it's great that to see that the neem oil seems to be doing the trick in, in controlling the bugs. Uh, right behind those are the uh, sunflowers. So some of these taller stakes, like the one right there, that is five feet in length and with about four feet above the ground. So we can see that some of these sunflowers are already approaching four feet in height. We just have to be careful with pruning the, the leaves that are blocking the sun from uh, the rest of the plants, which is already happening. So again, lesson learned in the future. Uh, definitely need to give these plants more spacing than I have this time around. I come this way. Uh, next, we have the Chinese lettuce. So these we've already harvested a couple of times. Uh, you know, we can take the larger leaves uh, away, and the plants will continue to grow. Uh, so it's a great thing about lettuce. And over here, we also have kind of more standard kind of green lettuce variety. Uh, same thing. You know, these ones, like the heads, look pretty big already, uh, and we've already harvested them a couple of times. Uh, over here, I've also been transplanting some more plants. So that, that I believe is a, a broccoli plant and a, couple, a few tomatoes. So you know, taking from my lessons previously, I have been spacing these further apart from one another uh, to avoid the crowding issue. Then over here, I've also have more transplants uh, that came from starter pots that I had at home. Uh, some tomatoes, uh, as well as cucumbers. These ones that, you, that I'm pointing at right now, these are cucumbers. And then over here, I also have more cucumbers that were planted, uh, where, where the seed was planted directly in the ground. So we've got uh, both approaches here. We've got some that have been damaged by the storms. So for example, this one, I believe is dying just because it's you know, kind of just, the, the stem was broken. Uh, but hopefully you know, we'll have enough so that survive, uh, to be able to actually produce fruits later in the season. Uh, here we have the snow peas and then also green beans, so kind of similar deal. Um, have, having to support them 
now by tying them to the stakes uh, to get past the storms. Some uh, bug bites on the leaves, but not a whole lot because I, you know, for these ones I've gotten on top of uh, quicker as far as spraying the needle oil to control the bugs. And then over here we've got the peppers, uh, a few different varieties. You can see that some of these have actually grown quite impressively. This one, for instance, we can see several actual peppers have emerged, uh, and they're actually quite large, I would say, in, in relation to the size of the overall plant. In fact, the one on the opposite side here, um, you can see this is like a good, I'd say five inches in length. Uh, so that's pretty exciting, and hopefully you know, those, plant, uh, those peppers continue to grow and ripen with time. Uh, in this corner here, we've got the Thai basil. So already been harvesting the leaves here. Uh, great thing about basil is you don't really need a lot of leaves to get what you need. Uh, so already been sharing them uh, with friends. So actually these, you know, even though we only have the three plants that you see here, um, I think this is gonna be sufficient. Uh, over here, we have another uh, tomato plant that I didn't have space to fit. Now this one, you can see how wide it's grown. Uh, good, I'd say four feet um, side to side. Unfortunately, this is one of the ones that was damaged during the storm. You can see that the stem here has uh, kind of broken off. So I am expecting that part of the plant is going to die. Hopefully, part of it you know, won't die and will continue to grow. Uh, unfortunately, I, even though I did try to support it with the stake there, I didn't do the best possible job. And unfortunately, it was damaged by the storm. So um, it's something I'm going to have to Im improve on in the future. Got another tomato plant here that was started later, so not as big. Uh, and then finally, we have the cabbages. These are Napa cabbages, so they tend to grow a cylindrical head. Uh, you can already see the inner head starting to grow. But yeah, these, these are uh, much larger than just last week. Uh, I'd say this one that I'm pointing at is good you know, two feet uh, across, if not more. And at this point, you know, there's basically no uh, space between neighboring plants. And the leaves are all touching one another. Uh, I think the spacing should be sufficient, um, but yeah, the main thing here is you know, very excited about how well they're doing. Uh, you know, the neem oil seems to have really controlled the bugs very well here as well. You can see that even though there are definitely uh, bug bites on the leaves, that that has not adversely affected the plant's ability to grow. So that's it for this week's update.